Welcome back everybody to Haute Balleron. As you can see I am sheltering at the minute because it is snowing. We are now into winter, December the 1st. Um, there's a couple of things I want to do before we kick off. We are pretty much up to speed on everything on our farm. So as you can see that was the grass that we did. Um, that is almost ready. As you can see, and it's, it's sort of in its last growth state. Everything's been fertilised. If we turn the mulched off. So we are absolutely up to date. Good to go on our own farm. So probably take on a couple of contracts. Um, the bale. Remember the cotton bale from previous episode? It is still up there. But it is obviously selling. Because some of you guys, and it obviously makes a lot more sense now, some of you guys did comment and say that some of the production chains only take a certain amount of product before they are full. And that is probably what's happened with the spinnery. Because if we go into our finances and go down to sold bells right at the bottom, it has, has actually sold. Oh, there you go. It's just gone up to 430. So it still sat in that sell point area and it is gradually selling so well i think we'll just leave it there. there's no point moving it and sort of moving it out of the way and then selling it because i'm pretty sure as well the price for cotton is yes going down so we can leave it there and it will just gradually sell over time and hopefully disappear in terms of contracts we've <laughs> Not got a lot of choice. Well, got a lot of choice of cultivating contracts and some ploughing ones. But like I say, I'm probably going to. Although. If we bought that. Yeah. Could do some ploughing contracts. And we can use our own equipment because I'm wanting to buy that subsoiler, which actually does un come under the plough. Um, category there's quite a few cultivating contracts so what we could do is go for the, sort of the biggest equipment that we can find we'll sort all that out in a minute but anyway a couple of things i want to do is change our outfit because it is very very cold so we have to go in here Ooh. as you can see we are starting to get our game cartridges built up ready to play our computer now what shall we go for <laughs> that would be good if we had a ranch somewhere um, that's quite warm looking where was that coat I saw ah there it is this guy quite like this outfit we can change the colours might just be boring and go black the wife will be pleased with that she absolutely loves black clothes don't ask me why we'll keep the same jeans and the boots I'm wanting to put some gloves on let's change our hat to let's have a nice that's quite cool I like that so should we try and match our boots? No, let's go for... What was it? Was it that one? That one. Let's go for that. And I'm going to put some gloves on because it is very cold. So, what are we looking at? They're sort of like for a motocross bike, aren't they? I think we might go for them. Can we change them? Yeah, they do. Right. That is us geared up for the winter. Close that garage door. Let's just have a quick look at what we look like. There we go. That's better. Feel a little bit warmer now. Let's just check on all these. 
We should have enough water still in there. Yes, plenty. We've got two pallets of lettuce now. Both full. Excellent. How are the chickens doing? Wow, look, we've got a full pallet of eggs. Excellent. And they've just started a new one. Have we got any new? Oh, look at that. We've got another 120 chickens. So we should hopefully be getting some eggs a lot quicker. What are the prices for eggs? There we go. They are going up. That is good. Have they got a decent... Ooh. We've just missed out on the peak, so... I think we'll have to keep our eye on them. We could possibly sell that full pallet of eggs there. Although, what is in... 1400 pieces so that would be yeah that would be that's the wrong menu that's per thousand yeah so it'd be hmm, be around three grand i would imagine wouldn't that we'll keep an eye on those prices anyway right one of the first jobs i want to do seeing as we do have quite a nice amount of money is i'm going to upgrade the horsepower on our tractor I did bring the baler back and repaired it obviously because it was second hand that snow is coming down I wonder if it's gonna settle let's just have a quick look at the weather forecast oh no it's gonna stop at around 11 a.m. okay and then it's gonna be pretty good for the rest of the day Ooh, pretty much all of January though we've got snow that's something to look forward to right let's head on up to the shop I do absolutely love the sounds in this game I don't know if you can hear the sound of the wipers there if I stop talking absolutely awesome Right, seems to be all good. It looks very cool when it snows as well. And if you're not aware, I did start a new series which did come out yesterday at the time of recording this which would have been Saturday the I'm not sure what date we're on on Erlingrat called Winter Survival and there is a lot of snow on that map so if you haven't checked that out please go and check it out hopefully you'll like it right customize let's put this right up to its maximum that's going to cost us 45 grand but I want to do it whilst we do have the money so let's do that um, did I just did that happen I'm not sure I pressed the right button then yes I did right cool let's check the old bargain basement um, nothing really there of interest for us so we have been very lucky though with some of the equipment that we've got we've got the baler that's going to be ready for the grass so I'm very excited about that right actually while we're here let's leave our tractor here let's turn the old beacons off well, let's go and see what sort of contracts they've got in the shop right i think we'll take on some of these because these are actually around our farm 43 44 45 and 48 43 44 45 is right over there so why don't we take on 43 44 and 48 and that is not too far to go we will borrow the best looking equipment so that is the same equipment off of those two right that's cool so if we go who's got the least 
that would make sense to borrow the equipment off of this fella it's going to be the least amount so we will borrow items on that and then we will accept on 43 and 48 we can't do any more than three that's pretty cool that should get us going that should bring a bit of money in as well for us and we should have some decent equipment there pretty cool what size is this fella Lemkin Col Corolan Corolan nope it's not that one it's this one so that's an 8.4 that's not bad that's pretty good we've got ourselves a nice John Deere 8RX so let's hook up to the weight first the snow seems to be getting worse I don't think it's going to settle though because it's due to stop at around 11 right so 44 is that one there so we should be able to sneak through here gonna be a bad boy and not even put the beacons on has that even got any beacons no it hasn't it's a bit unusual right so let's unfold this fella still gonna take us a fair amount of time and the other field is just over there in the background that's the one we did the harvesting on a little while ago for soybeans so that's pretty cool that shouldn't take too long that's not that big and then 48 is that one that I said I like to look at that I like to the look of even down at the bottom of our farm so off we go I guess actually we could let's put cruise control on and have a look at oh no because we can't take any more than three contracts on what I was going to say is I could buy that subsoiler and take on a couple of these plowing contracts and do them myself but I kind of shot myself in the foot now by taking on those three because it won't let you take any more on so oh well we'll just have to persevere with what we've got very cool though look at that we just go around like this I'm not going to go up and down that looks very smart with the snow coming down very impressive right well I'll probably get this one done because this is a fairly big size and then maybe we could do a little bit of a time lapse on this one in front of us I'm not sure see what happens I always find it quite hard to judge what sort of what to do in some episodes and what I mean by that is are some of you guys going to get bored of just seeing me going along this like now but personally I know a lot of the bigger YouTubers I've heard them say you should only put out sort of content that you'd be happy to watch which is very true and I must admit I don't get bored of watching any of those guys go up and down because at the end of the day we or most of us love this game and I think watching it like this is just as good as playing it sometimes 
and you do pick up some very good ideas and tips from other YouTubers. So, but sometimes I do, I don't know if it's just me, I probably just overthink a few things. Because I had an interesting comment yesterday, someone saying why episodes were too short. But that's another thing that I worry about. What is a good length of an episode? Do people, you know, see a video come out and see that it's 47, 50 minutes long and think, oh my goodness, I haven't got time to watch all that. But I don't know. I guess if the content is good enough and brilliant, then it doesn't really matter. And if you do have a video that's quite long, you don't have to watch it all in one go. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. And I will see you over the other field. We won't collect on any of these contracts, because obviously I do that. I'm going to lose this equipment. We will finish all of them, and then we will collect on it. And we'll go from there. There may be something for us to do. I'll keep a mo keep an eye on the eggs as well. But we don't have any sort of trailer to load up the pallets. So we could possibly invest in something like that as well. We're not always going to get everything we want in the used equipment sale. And like I said earlier, we have been very lucky at what we have got so far. So I've not got a problem with buying new equipment if we need it as long as it isn't too expensive right we've almost completed this one even though there's going to be a huge patch left in the middle of the field there we go but I'm not worried about that we've done what is required from us so we'll move on to this fella. I think if we start up the top and work down the slope lengthways, as you can see, it has stopped snowing. So the weather forecast was pretty accurate, but it is very sort of dark and grey looking. Kind of what you'd expect on a winter's day. So, off we go for this one. Which will be this one here. No, it won't. It's the top one. What am I talking about? Because that is completed, that one. But I'm pretty sure this is their equipment. So, definitely don't want to be accepting that. Um... What else was I going to show you? Sold bells, that is going up again. Look, 587, so it is selling. And are we still going in a straight line? The eggs, oh, they have stopped at 2,504. Now, I was kind of thinking, is it really going to warrant getting a trailer just for that? I know, obviously, in the future we will need a trailer. And then I was in two minds, shall we just run up there? with the pallet on the forks on the telehandler <laughs> just sell one pallet so we'll see what happens or we can just wait until we get a few pallets and the lettuce as well and we can sell them sort of all in one hit I'm not sure when the peak price is for the lettuce actually uh, where are we there so that is currently going down that's February, so that shouldn't be too far away. I'm probably not going to get a huge amount between now and then. I'd like to think we'd get at least another couple of pallets to make it worth our while. A little bit bumpy at this end. But we'll see how it goes.
this is almost completed as well hopefully anytime soon we we're at 98 percent just a second ago there we go so a few patches left but again we will not collect on them yet i'm going to head over to the third one and i think once we get over there i'll probably do all of that one off camera and then we can move on and do something else still in two minds whether it's even worth just selling one box of eggs or one pallet of eggs although they probably are at their best price at the minute so we will see what happens I'm enjoying this tractor though it's very nice I must admit there's our grass field look coming along almost ready so do we need to, yes we do we need to go up there don't we and over the railway track oh, this field looks in a bit of a bad way that is a withered crop in there what have they had in there sorghum what a waste absolute waste right like I say I will get this done I probably might start right over in that far corner and we will go from there I'll probably bring you back in when we're almost done oh there's a lovely little is that a farmhouse there that's quite cool See what would be very good is when the doormat or sort of sleep anywhere trigger sleep trigger comes out as a mod because you could pick a lovely little spot like that. Got a bit of room here for a shed, a couple of sheds. You could start off here, that would be absolutely awesome. Quality little farmhouse that is. Right next to this lovely, alright you've got the train track just there but you've got a nice bit coming out for a bit of fishing off the mm. what's that now do these mean i don't know if any of you guys know do these mean that a, there is a collectible nearby because that is what i've been led to believe but I have no idea where there could be one there. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this cultivating the field. We're not going to get any collectibles this episode because I want to. I don't want it to be every episode we're getting one and building our money up too quick. Any info is greatly appreciated. Right. I'll see you a little bit later on guys right this contract should almost be finished I think we're sat at about 98% so hopefully by the time we spin around and do another length there should be good to go It's only this strip left really so there we go that's all finished we're not going to do any more because that is all we need to do um apologies if i sound a little bit snuffily or sniffily whatever the term is this is being recorded in two parts the first part i kind of felt okay the second part i've got a bit of a stinking cold and also when we first arrived on this field to do this contract what i said about the house over there and hopefully we get like a doormat mod well one came out yesterday from omatana which is pretty cool it was a hobo farmhouse pack i think it was it's got a little farmhouse in it and a tent as well cool so that'd be very handy to have 
right what I'm going to do is head up to our farm and we will collect all of these contracts and then this equipment will disappear which is good at least we won't have to walk back to the farm I know really we should take it back to the shop but we're going to imagine that they've come to pick it up because we've got things to do now something a little bit odd that I spotted where I, I thought was a bit odd anyway let's just stop that there first I'll collect all these contracts first and then I'll talk to you about what I thought was a bit odd right so seven and a half grand on that five on that and just over five on that happy days so that has disappeared excellent yeah the price of eggs if we go in here when i first started that cultivating contract that last one we've just finished i kept checking on the prices and they were sat at 2569 at the farm shop there the bottom sell point of those two and the arrow was pointing down but as you can see the prices carried on going up which is a bit odd because pretty sure on fs19 as soon as the arrow went red and it was pointing down the prices started going down so unless it's slightly different whether it's just sort of an indication that the prices will go down eventually because we're in december so now is the point where they should be starting to go down but i just thought it was a bit odd that it was still going up so as you can see 2597 so I think what we'll do is we will, I'm going to leave the lettuce, I'm not too fussed about that. I was even thinking about switching on maybe tomatoes in there, there as well, just to speed things up. I think if we go for strawberries, we're going to end up getting a bit flooded out with strawberries. But let me know what your suggestions are. I know obviously lettuce does take the longest to produce, but it is worth more, but... I don't know what's best to do really so what I think we will do is we are going to grab our new telehandler and give that a bit of a run out I'm just going to literally pick the pallet up with this and we're going to drive all the way up to the farm shop what I am going to do though is shut our doors down because it is getting dark and our little stalker may be about somewhere. We still don't know who they are or what they're doing. They seem to always be around though. I think as well, possibly not this episode because it's starting to get a little bit dark. I do want to do a little bit of landscaping around here just to make things look a little bit nicer. Now that we do have a bit of extra money so are we going to be able to take this all the way up there safely oh what's happening there there we go tilt that right up right so see look it's gone up again look by one two five nine eight hopefully by the time we get up there it will be at two six we will see so farm shop we know is this one isn't it yes so we need to do our usual route i'll probably go that way actually straight across and then up so let's get some lights on and the beacon what does it look like first person very cool obviously you would not do this in real life it is a bit s silly isn't it whoa especially with pulling out on cars like that we nearly had scrambled eggs then hot air balloons are still out this time of day I'm surprised they can see where they're going but let's head on up to the farm shop
Right. So we made it in one piece. So let's go in here, and I think all these sort of pallet cell point is round the back. Well, let's just quickly check if the price has changed. Yes, it's gone to two six, so that is good. So we should get a little bit for this. It's not too bad a price, I would say. There we go, the money's going up. Happy days, eggs are disappearing. Three thousand six hundred and forty one. That is good, I'm happy with that, I'm well impressed with that. So, let's turn that off. We are getting some decent money coming in now, I'm very pleased with that, so that's good. Obviously still cultivating and ploughing is going to be available probably all through the winter. Is there likely to be any sort of... Uh, maybe when we get into February there might be some cotton, planting cotton, possibly. Hopefully our grass will be ready soon as well. Maybe next episode, let's turn that on, there we go. That's on its last stage by the look of it. So hopefully, yeah, that will be ready next episode. And like I said before, it's a bit of an odd time of year to be mowing our grass. But we're going to do it so we can earn a bit more extra money. We have got a decent amount. I think we will start spending some money as well soon. Like I say, I've got to do a bit of landscaping. Probably going to buy that subsoiler as well. Because I think that will come in handy. Hopefully we won't have to plough our fields um, for a while. So yeah, it's all coming together. So I hope you have all enjoyed the episode, guys. I think it might be a little bit shorter than normal, but we are at 4.37pm, so it's starting to get a bit dark. But tomorrow is another day. So if you have all enjoyed it, please drop us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.